400 days of hardcore Minecraft. Do you guys think we can do it? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing some more hardcore Minecraft. Now school is finally out for me, which means I can make a lot more YouTube videos than I was able to before. Try to expect at least 3-4 to four videos a month. Now YouTube is only telling me that 5% of you guys are subscribed. Now if you enjoy the content that I make, it'd be awesome if you could hit the subscribe button and join the Before 50k Club. Now let's get on to the video. As a reminder, in the last 100 days, we were able to build a nice and neater villager trading hall, a fully tiered beacon, a rainbow wool sheep farm, and about half of a library structure. And that is where we left off on day 301. The first thing I actually did was say hi to my horse Henry. I'm sorry for leaving you here for a whole month, buddy. And then I walked into my garden and breathed in the amazing fresh air. Oh, those flowers smell good. And then finally I went down to say hi to my villagers inside of my farm down here and yeah I think I gotta shut this off someday, there, there's too many in there now. So I basically spent day 3 of 1 just trying to get reacquainted to the world because it's been a while since I've been here, just getting used to being back in here again. I definitely want to finish the library though in this 400 days, that is a priority. So I'm kind of walking around thinking about what I was working on when I last left off because I forgot honestly and I see this roof and um, I think it needs building. So I know for sure that we're going to need some red concrete, and that is exactly what I set out to do. And later that day I started building in more parts of our roof. And I even worked a bit into the next day, and this is when I started to realize the sheer amount of blocks I was going to need for this roof thing. It was way more than I originally thought. And also just the basic concrete finish looks a bit odd to me, I'm definitely going to have to go back and texture it a little bit maybe. That's going to be a pain. Wow, three days into the episode and we're already getting work done, this is looking good. Also, these fish over here caught my attention, and I went ahead and went to go try to pick them up with a bucket, because I noticed I still needed this advancement it's called tactical fishing, and it was a super easy one to get completed. We're on our way to getting all the advancements in the game, I haven't really been getting anywhere lately though, as you can tell. I went to check on our iron farm because I completely forgot that we built this in the last video, and there is literally no iron in here. I'm not sure if it's because I just haven't had the game open or it's just not working well. I'm not sure, we're gonna give it some more time though. Alright, before we continue on to the next day, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Hunting Clash. Hunting Clash is a free to play mobile game that is available on both iOS and Android. It has breathtaking hunting grounds and different scenes available across the world that you can go and explore it. Just look at some of these locations man, these actually look amazing, I wish I could be there in real life. There is also a wide variety of weapons you can choose from, ranging from a sniper rifle to even a bow, where you can also include gear like sonars and super buffs. This game has over a hundred different animals and species to hunt from all across the world. Just look at this grizzly bear for example, I don't think you would want to see him running right at you. I really like how Hunting Clash tries to immerse you into the environment, it really just makes the game feel so much better and more realistic, like you can literally hear this guy breathing. It really feels like you're actually there and hunting those animals. You can also play live against another player through duels and championships, where you can earn a ton of awesome rewards. There's also a vast weapon upgrade system and you can also upgrade these things called lure cards where the animals actually get bigger and you also get more points for hunting them. There's many challenges that you can partake in and compete with your friends on the leaderboard. Along with these challenges there are also events that happen every single week where you can discover and play new adventures and maps. Now make sure you go and download the game through the link in the description box below, I'm also going to have a pinned comment as well to help support my channel. And that is all, thank you once again Hunting Clash for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the world. I woke up on day 304 and looked to the left side of my house, and I forgot that I actually wanted to build a garden kind of thing over here, and I really wanted to use Podzo for the dirt, and to do that we're gonna need a Silk Touch shovel or a Silk Touch pickaxe, Silk Touch anything. And unfortunately I do not have any Silk Touch on any tool that I own, which means I'm gonna have to go out either enchant it, or try to get a villager that has Silk Touch. I went with the latter option, so I went and captured one of my villagers, and forced him to read, so he could become a librarian and give me that book. It actually wasn't too long before I got the silk touch, and what happened next was basically I was I just realized I kind of trapped myself in here. I never made a way for myself to get out. So when I was trying to figure that out, he managed to escape. And when he left, I didn't realize this, but I think he dropped back inside of the pile. And he kind of just like vanished. I'm not really sure why. So I gotta do this again. I'm trying to get another villager up here and let's repeat this process. But this time I actually made myself a way that I can get out from. Hopefully I don't lose the villager again, that was just silly of me, man. And it really wasn't that long until I got Silk Touch again, I don't know what's going on, my luck is just crazy right now. But I traded with him to lock the trade and um, I realized that I could actually get a Silk Touch book right now because if I broke this bookshelf I should get books and then I can buy a Silk Touch book. Thank you villager for your service but I must leave now, I'm just gonna leave him here, we can deal with him later. 
I grabbed a random extra shovel that I had inside of my tools chest and applied Silk Touch onto it. That's just so it doesn't go on my main shovel because I probably don't want Silk Touch on everything. I went over to our old base area and started clearing out some of the podzole that was left over from the spruce trees that we were farming. Now I'm just gonna fill this thing in, it's looking great, I think I'm gonna put some fences around here and then we can put in some flowers. Alright, let's go into our decorations chest and grab some flowers that we think might look good. So if you don't remember, we actually built a flower farm in the last 100 days. Um, and yeah, we have a big arrangement of flowers to choose from. I really like the rose bushes. I think I'm going to take one of those. We're going to take a lilac. Um, a couple orange tu- oh, that's too many. I meant to only take two orange tulips. Maybe just a red tulip, actually. A pink tulip would also look nice. Uh, corn flower. I'm just going to choose a bit of everything. And then finally, we're going to go with blue orchids. Two of them. Alright, that's good. Let's go check out our area. I'm just going to wrap around to the back of the house here. Oh yeah, and I still gotta build this. I really want to build a nice fireplace on this side of the house. Uh, this house is still, a lot of it is all work in progress. Alright, anyways, back here, um, I actually don't have a gate. That's the problem. I don't know if I'm actually gonna need one later, though. It's probably fine. I don't think I'm gonna have a gate in the final build. Okay, let's just put some flowers here. Uh, just sprinkle this here, here. Rosebush can go there. I did not mean to bring five lilacs with me. We're just gonna do this. Okay, I actually decided to just come back in the day because we can get a better look of things here. And I kind of like it. And also, if you didn't know this, you can actually bone meal these big uh, flowers over here and you can just get more of them. It's that simple. I actually did not used to know that before. Just a cool little fun fact. But yeah, I kind of like this garden. It's kind of chill just on the side of our house. Also, I just want to say that I have an idea of making a guardian farm in this 100 days. It's going to take a lot of resource grinding. I remember in the last season when I did the guardian farm for the first time, it literally took me so long. I don't remember how long it took, but maybe like 10 or 15 days in total worth of just gathering materials and building it because it's a pretty long build. And also on day 307, I came across this villager just chilling on the main floor of the library. I was kind of confused on how he got there. Not really sure, but I basically spent this day working on more of the library. And I actually got a bit carried away because for the next two days, I was working on the second floor of the library and also did a little bit of texturing on the roof using some red wool. And later I'm thinking of grabbing some red terracotta to texture the roof even more, but for now, enjoy the time lapse. And this is the section where I texture my roof. And it was a bit hard going through and just breaking some random blocks and putting in some wool without making it look weird. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back, break everything, and just build and texture along the way. I feel like that will be a bit easier. And also, if you're wondering, those blank spots are where I'm going to be placing red terracotta in the future. On day 311, I started my farm for some more red terracotta. Or I shouldn't say more, because this is my first time gathering terracotta in this world. And this was also something I actually didn't know before. I thought you could only get terracotta in those, like, special biomes, but you can just smelt clay. Like, I feel so dumb for not knowing that. But that's gonna help a lot with some texturing on our roof. Alright, so I've got my clay in here smelting up, and we got terracotta here. So, um, I'm like 99% sure this works, but if it doesn't, I kind of wasted my time. Okay, good. It does work. We can get red terracotta. That's perfect. I can actually use that now to texture our building. That is quite amazing. I just got to get a lot more clay because I don't think like 60 or I don't remember how much I got. That is probably not going to be enough. All right. So um, this is kind of what it looks like right now. I did a little bit of texturing on it and it already looks a lot better than just the static concrete color. But yeah, today I'm thinking about going into the nether because I want to get another beacon. So let's go and try to hunt down some more wither skeletons. Good thing another fortress is closed door portal, because it only takes me about 10 seconds to get there. It's super quick. I started off with fighting some blazes because I couldn't find any wither skeletons on my first run around, so that was a bit boring. Looks like I'm gonna have to stay here for the next couple of days. This was actually so crazy, but on my second wither skeleton, I managed to get a skull. The looting three on the sword really does speed things up. I'm super grateful for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now it's basically already the end of day 315, but we got home with three Wither Skeletons relatively quickly. It didn't, it didn't take too long. Also got a ton of Blaze Rods as well, and some Magma Cream. It's gonna be very useful for potions if we're gonna be doing that later on. I think I'm gonna head off to bed right now, and the next morning we can fight the Wither for the second time. And right away in day 316, I didn't even put anything back. I just went straight down into the mines and started the other Wither fight. So I didn't even bring anything to prepare this time. I think I should be able to kill him pretty easily though. Also, I kind of got jump scared here. I was kind of confused on where he was, and then he just appeared out of nowhere, and that, that kind of scared me. He was right above me, too. That was a bit dangerous. But yeah, you know, just a basic wither fight. I've talked about this a lot already. I don't think you guys want to hear it. Just pretty simple, except at the end, I kind of got a bit ballsy and just decided to just rush him. And I didn't realize that I was getting kind of low, so three hearts-ish. Kind of scary, but I think we were probably going to be fine anyway. And basically, for the rest of the day, I spent cleaning up my inventory because uh, it was a mess right now. Also, we gotta trade some villagers for a bit more emeralds, because I think we're gonna need some more blocks to do a second pyramid. And when I say pyramid, I meant like the beacon pyramid, by the way. Also, our shield is a low, I think. I'm gonna have to make a new one. Alright, and I went with strength 2 on the second beacon, and now look at our buffs. We got speed 1, strength 2, and regeneration 1. That is insane! And also, I usually don't go with speed 2, because in my opinion, I feel like speed 2 is a bit too fast, and then the FOV just changes, and it's just a bit weird. I don't know, speed 1 should be good enough for us right now. Also, um, I'm planning on probably changing the colors later on, because white is kind of boring and basic. Oh, that's just beautiful, man. I love these beacons, bro. Over time, hopefully I can get all 6 beacons. I think for this next little bit, I'm gonna work a little bit more on the house, just because this thing is still unfinished, bro. This I made this house way too big for, like, what I actually need, because I definitely do not need to use all of this space. But, I mean, I guess we gotta build it anyway. I'm gonna have to gather some more wood, because I already used most of it on the library. And from days 317 to 319, I worked a bit more on the house. I hope you enjoy another mini time lapse. And yeah, a creeper managed to creep up on me while I was looking at my inventory, so yeah. So yeah, I managed to basically get the first floor completely done on the exterior and uh, most of the second floor, just a little bit on the top areas is all we're missing. We got a ton of progress done in the past two days, that was pretty good. Basically just we gotta get the roof now, that's gonna be hard to do. And the rest of day 20, I went over to our rainbow sheep farm and continued filling in some more of these colors. In the future, I definitely want to try making some pixel art. I think that'd be really cool to add to some like farms or anything we build in the future. Alright, a random thought just came in my mind, but last season we built this ender dragon statue that we used to like kind of show off our ender dragon egg and as well as the head. I think I'm going to build that right now, maybe somewhere by the library out in the front because that thing looks really cool. And also, by the way, I found it on Reddit a while ago, so all credit to this statue goes to those guys, as I'm pretty sure those guys were the ones who first made it. But I just really love the look of this statue. Alright, now that we've finished building that statue, I'm gonna grab my dragon egg as well as our dragon head and let's head over and place these things inside of the statue. So I've decided to just put it right over here, right in front of our library, kind of facing it, and it also, yeah, the path kind of stops and then goes this way over to here. And also, I probably should put some signs here, uh, I'm not really sure what to say. I guess I could say the date that we defeated it, but I don't really remember which day that was. Whatever, one day we might put some signs here. But I'm pretty sure the head goes down here by his feet. There we go, it looks pretty nice. And then the egg goes up in his hand. Boom, there we go. That looks epic. Dude, I, I really love the look of this statue thing. It just it just looks so sick. And also, if you're wondering what this block is, I think it's black. Yeah, it's polished blackstone. Something like that. Some special variant of blackstone. But I noticed that we had like three stacks of blackstone in our nether chest. So I was like, might as well use it. Well, that is another thing that is checked off of our list. Maybe next up, we should probably work on the house a bit more. Some things are still unfinished. Like, that's just a square. That's a square. The roof is just undone. We've got a lot of work to do. But for the rest of day 322, I decided to fly out far and wide to find sand and gravel and clay, all that kind of stuff, because in the future we're definitely going to be making a lot of builds that involve concrete or terracotta, so I think I'm just going to try to do that now, just so we can have a good stash of it just ready at our hands. And finally, when I arrived home for the next three or so days, I spent working on our house. Just some minor little things that I didn't get to finish all the way before, and so some things I just added to make it look a bit better. Yeah, these are all basic minor adjustments, and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. But yeah, nothing really happened these next couple of days. 
And of course, like a lot of things that I do, I decided to completely just sort of move this top part of this balcony after doing this for like every single one because I had a completely new idea. I was trying to work the roof design into all of this. All right, guys, I'm super excited to show you what I have gotten done. I've gotten a ton of work done and I have a pretty good idea of what the roof is going to look like. But yeah, you can see up here, we got some like support beam things for the roof. If we walk outside, we got these nice, I changed this all this stuff to dark oaks instead because before it used to look exactly like this and it was just exactly the same, but I had some dark oak and also some lanterns there. The dark oak really adds a nice feel to this build. I really love it here. I'm trying to think of what else I did. Let's see. It was a super uh, hard, like getting all this wood too. There was a lot of wood that was needed. Oh yeah, also I feel like this part of the roof might be a bit boring, um, I was gonna build a fireplace here, I might still try, but if it doesn't work, I could kind of make this balcony curve around and it could like curve over here and meet that side, and um, yeah, we could just have like a patio or something over here instead of that, because I'm already planning to build a fireplace on this side actually, I, I, left, I left some room over here for it. So yeah, a lot of good progress, I got a lot of the house done, basically all we need now is interior and the roof, I'm super excited for this thing to be finally done. We started this so long ago. And drop some ideas about what you guys want to see inside of the house, because we have so much empty space, I have literally no idea what we're going to be putting on the second floor, I mean I guess my bedroom is going to be that way. And also downstairs, like we got the small little room right here, that's where the fireplace is going to be, and then also down there we got a huge hallway. There's a ton of different opportunities to build some cool stuff in here. Oh, it just started raining. But anyway, guys, I think this is going to do it for today's episode. I'm back to weekly upload, so next week, Thursday or so, expect to see day 350 released. And yeah, I'm just super excited to see what else we can build inside of this series. I am just super stoked to finally be back and uploading consistently for you guys. And that is going to wrap it up for this week's episode, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want to thank Hunting Clash once again for sponsoring today's video. And if you have not already, make sure you guys go down in the description box below to download Hunting Clash for free on iOS and Android to help support my channel. Now have an amazing rest of your day, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.